Ascending out of Kildale, day five of the Cleveland Way has us striding out on the moors, taking in the iconic Roseby Topping before eventually ending up in the Victorian seaside town of Saltburn by the Sea. Day five of the Cleveland Way. Kildale to Saltburn. 14 and three quarter miles and 2,522 feet of ascents. Let's go. Jilly, wait! Weight limit's one ton! Cheeky! Just starting to gently ascend out of Kildale. Lovely farmland, looks nice. Hello, sheepies! Look at those ewes opening up again. Where we were the other day. Hello. <laughs> oh, that was quite a climb out of Kildale. And now we're heading towards Captain Cook's monument. Scottish woodlands? How far have we walked? So behind me? Cutting down our trees. What the hell? I've got the wrong trees to cut down. Madness. Because they're cutting down the trees back there, the scent at the moment is just delicious, like proper pine tree scent. Reminds me of Christmas. Fly, Jilly. Fly. This section of the Cleveland Way is one that we're very familiar with as it's quite close to where we live and we come out here and do a little circuit it usually includes captain cook's monument and roseby topping uh, but it's nice to do it from a linear perspective and do the full thing we've never done that before so interesting here we are atop of easeby moor and behind me captain cook's monument let's go Captain James Cook is Cleveland's most famous son and quite possibly the best circumnavigator of the world that ever was. He was born in Martin of Cleveland back in 1728. Just look at these views all this way that we've been and looking ahead towards Roseby Topping and way out in the distance towards Saltburn where we'll be going today. Just look at Roseby Topping's iconic shape. You understand why it's called the Matterhorn of the North. So this here is a memorial for the air crew of a Hudson aircraft from the Second World War. In 1940, there was ice on the wings, which caused the engine to fail, causing it to crash. There was, however, one survivor called Ethel Barker, who was later shot down over Germany. Tragic. Oh dear. We're currently descending off Easeby Moor, and when we get to the bottom, we'll have to ascend Great Ayton Moor. Let's go! You can park at the bottom of this path if you want to just have a little gentle slope up to... Is it free parking, Captain, <laughs> Captain Cook's Monument. I think it might be free parking, you know, Nicholas. Parking. Yes, it is. It's free parking. Um, so, yeah, it's, if it's just a case of you coming to have a look at the monument. It's a park for free there and a gentle stroll up. Um, to, to take in the views up there, which is quite nice. Good times. Here's the free parking at the bottom of the Captain Cook's monument. Gribdale Gate. Gribdale Gate, bit of information board, and also picnic benches over there for a picnic. Okay, so we've just climbed up here quite steep, and you can just see, peeking out the top there, the monument. This was a great birthday present off Nicholas quite a few years ago now and although it's been sat on the shelf for a few years we've definitely made use of it this year. Fantastic. Just look at these great views of Roseby Topping, the Matterhorn of the North. It's an optional part of this Cleveland Way trek. More, more, more! How are you liking it? How are you liking it? Great, eight and more! Currently liking it, currently liking it! 
Oh, behind us is Roseby Topping, which is the closest mountain to where we live. We've done that mountain more than any other mountain in the world. Uh, we do love it. Uh, and it's an optional part of the Cleveland Way, so... You'd have to walk to it and then walk back to this point to then carry on on the Cleveland Way, so... What's we'll, your opinions on that? I think we'll miss it today, we've done it so many times, but if you're doing the Cleveland Way for the first time and you've never been in this area, please go check Rosebury Topping out because the views to. up there are incredible. It's a beautiful mountain, it really is. We've covered it three times on this channel already. Check down there if you want to see it. Um, but yeah, we're going to skip it today. Let's go. Cracking little mountain. Just before we move inland on the Cleveland Way, I'll show you the view. You've got Rosebury Topping all the way along here. And then there's Captain Cook's monument that we were at earlier. Well, looming above us over there is High Cliff Nab, which is our next high point. Just leaving Newson Moor behind. Look at these lovely autumnal colours. A cliff nab. Top Highcliff Nab, a lovely town of Gisborough. I did attempt a time lapse looking over Gisborough, looking out towards the sea with the lovely clouds moving. Um, and we're sat there on this great bench having our picnic, but it is absolutely freezing. A little open to the elements up here. It was lovely and sunny when we started the walk, and now <laughs> it actually feels like it's winter. It's not. <laughs> Well, it's absolutely freezing, so we're gonna to have to get a move on now. Here he goes. Oh, so, we're following the acorn for the Cleveland Way. Right along the forest section. Do we doing a new descent dance? Quite a nice ridge. Views over towards Red Car in the distance. Actually, by the time this video goes out, we'll actually know it's a hard winter. So if we're all under snow, then these berries were right. Has it been a harsh winter? Sounds like we're getting closer to the main road. Follow the acorn. It's time for Gate of the Week. Very noisy. We survived crossing the A171. It's a bit of a tricky crossing, I'm not going to lie. And now we're in Slapwath and we're going to pick up the Cleveland Way, take us the final leg of the journey to Saltburn. Stick around. Steep ascent out of Slapwath. Views all the way back to High Cliff Nab, where we were earlier. So here we are above Slapwath, looking back over some of the areas we walked today and we've got these nice picnic benches. So take two on the picnic. And we're off again, feeling a bit replenished. Sun's just started to come out, making for a nice finish for the walk. It's a belt of a walk but it is exhausting. Passing some farmland. Aerial farm. 
Airy hole? Airy hole. <laughs> so not airy hole? Not airy hole. <laughs> Come on Saltburn, where are you? Come into view. We're on the road to nowhere. Definitely on the road to nowhere. Dee -dee -dee. What are we thinking to this bit of the track, Jill? It's boring, isn't it? It seems like it's going on forever and I'm seeing where we are on the actual map and we're miles away from anywhere. <laughs> oh no. What are you thinking about this bit, Nicholas? It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It really does. I've been on it for miles. And they've got these bushes either side so you can't even see where you are. Could be anywhere. Maybe we're approaching some kind of civilization because there was a person with a dog. Woof! Oh, we uh. Kinky. Finally making it back to civilization. That road went on for miles, literally. Zapped all life out of me. <laughs> I'm Jill. So happy to even see houses at, the, at this point. Urban area on the outside of Skelton. It's a nicer path. We've got views in both directions and in front. Here we are on Skelton High Street. Not your typical part of the Cleveland Way. Now this here would have been the Cleveland Way, what clearly developers have had their hands on it. Um, so now we're being diverted all around the houses. This is all fields and pastures, of course. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to pick up the Cleveland Way further down this road, who knows? So thankfully, uh, some nice local has pointed in the right direction to pick up the Cleveland Way. Um, because the diversion signs are bullshit, um, put it frankly. Uh, there aren't any, big lack of them, big lack of information, uh, just a big section shut off for the developers. But we're back on it now. Um, I'm gonna try and calm down and enjoy this last section of the Cleveland Way. Hey, oh, there's a big field here. Developers have missed a trick, haven't they? You should have this all shut off. We're having an early thought about what our best and worst bits are. Early thoughts, Julie? No best bits, just one big whole worst bit. <laughs> Getting some nice autumnal colours here. Nice riverside walk. Just look at that aqueduct over this lovely bridge. Wow. It's on the bridge now. Final bit of the scent of the day. Just about to hit the top of Saltburn. Stay tuned. Here we are at the iconic bandstand atop Saltburn Cliff. Day five of the Cleveland Way, Kildale to Saltburn, complete. What was your best bit? My best bit was Easeby Moor, the views up there, of Captain Cook's Monument and Rosemary Topping are fantastic. Yeah, I like that. But I also like it uh, on top of uh, Great Ayton Moor, where you're looking at the Matterhorn of the North, Rosemary Topping. It's just brilliant up there. What about your worst bit? Worst bit has to be the road leading into Skelton with bushes either side, and it went on for miles. Oh, that was... I lost the world to live on that bit. That was awful. <laughs> was that your worst bit? No, the development side. <laughs> It just went over a lovely bit of the Cleveland Way and it wasn't to help some little locals because it was very badly diverted. We'd, we'd never picked up the Cleveland Way again, so that was my worst bit. But all in all, good day. Yeah. So here we are at Salt Buns. Dog Yappy. James Cook is Cleveland's greatest son and quite possibly the greatest 
Circumnavigator. Circumcised navigator? <laughs> <laughs> how did they know that? I mean, how did they check? He's the most famous son of Cleveland. Right. And one of the greatest circumnavigators of the world. Okay, so... <laughs> Captain James Cook. Losing daylight. Get it still open. Get it still open. Oh. <laughs> Shot! <Shots. laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the rucksack. Wheel makes it look really easy. I was going to say. So here we are at Saltburns. Shut up! You don't know how you say we're taking on a